Hey, good day, Royals fans of Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and it was a struggling day for a Reading Royals last night as they fell to the Trois Rivier Lions, similarly to how they fell in Quebec the first time they allowed more than nine goals in a game, which the game they allowed nine goals was against that Trois Rivier Lions team up in Quebec. Alexis Deu was not in this game since he was brought up to the Phantoms. So was Brad Morrison, who had an assist in his first game, and Karu Ustamenko was a net for the Phantoms, who played very well last night. They just ended up losing 3-2 because the Phantoms couldn't defend well enough or get enough goal output. But <clears throat> um, in terms of the Reading Royals game, uh, it was a really fun game to be a part of. Uh, I have to thank the Reading Royals and Eric Jesberger for giving me a chance to do color commentating. That was really fun. Um, it wasn't the best game, obviously, uh, to um, in terms of uh, our output. But the Reading Royals, from a positive perspective, did get outputting goals on the power play. The problem is now they have to work on defending the opposing rush on the power play, which is another side of the factor entirely. And they're going to take a few days off here, a few days reprieve. As Kirk, Coach Kirk McDonald said in the postgame press, so check it out over on Reading Royals YouTube yesterday. Um, because they didn't really have much of an All-Star break. During the All-Star break, they had a game in, in between there. I think it was on the weekend. It was against Wheeling or somebody. I can't remember the exact game, but they didn't have as much of an All-Star break as you would expect. And then, of course, Pritchard was an All-Star, so um, he had even less. So they decided to take a break here. They're going to come back, start practicing Thursday. And this is just kind of one of those, to me, a takeaway is it's one of those bump in the road game. Trois Rivier is a team that's been a brute great battle this whole entire season. They kind of had our number a little bit, but then Redding's been playing better against them the last couple games. And a bunch of those games, as Eric said on the broadcast, pointing out the great stat, did go to OT and it was a battle to the end against Trois Rivier. Then there's that outlier game that they scored nine goals against us. And then this game that they scored 10. But I kind of agree with what Coach Kirk McDonald was saying. This game wasn't as separated as it really looked because you had similarly to how it kind of reminded me of one of those games earlier on in the season where it was just that clip like three to four minute stretch that really cost you this game because obviously three shorthanded goals that's that two to three that's that two minute stretch we're talking about there that's going to cost you a game most times and not and Patrick McNally was in the broadcast booth of us yesterday and he even said he never seen that in his entire career so that's a very rarity it's a rarity to be able to come back from that but at the same time the Royals didn't battle all the way back, but they played a much more concise and much more clean third period and went out better to come into next week. This is one of those bumps in the roads or a first place team, as Kirk McDonald said, in the presser and first place in the conference still. And as he put it, shit happens. I mean, it's one of those things during the course of a great season, you're going to hit those bumps and bruises in game. And then you're just going to have to watch the film, improve, do the X, Ys, and Zs for next week, and then you'll be fine. And that's what this Reading Royals team has been doing all season. We saw them lose, not albeit not not by as big of a score, but at the same time, like Kirk McDonaldson and I agree with him, this game really wasn't as separated as the score told. It was just a couple a, a couple minute stretch that really screwed you. And then you started playing better hockey as a whole in probably like 40 minutes of the game. It's just you, you, you screwed up too much for those few minutes that really cost you. Where we saw this team... Um, I really bounced back consistently this year from having not even a poor effort, but just a losing effort. And this one would definitely go into the degree of a not so great <clears throat> um, overall game. But we've seen the running ones bounce back. They did it against Maine when they lost to the Maine Mariners. They're going to do it against the Trois Rivier, or after losing to the Trois Rivier Lions, I should say, against the Wheeling Nailers next week is at 4 p.m. for the Marvel Superheroes Day. I think that will be a much better game. Obviously, Wheeling also doesn't have the as much of the speed and skill uh, attack of being one of the best um, goal-scoring teams, but also but also being one of the <laughs> most in goals allowed, as Trois Rivier does. So I think it'll fare to be able to kind of limit them, jam the neutral zone a little bit better, where Trois Rivier was able to kind of just get up on their skates after they got that momentum yesterday, having those shorthanded goals and were just kind of flying around for the rest of the game. And they were playing better defense in the third, as I said, the Reading Royals were. But still, Trois Rivier was up on their skates. It seemed like there was too much momentum going in their direction at that point. And uh, it was what it was. Um, that's a game, though, again, that I think you just have to throw in the trash, compact, or learn and grow from it, you know, in the X, Ys, and Zs you have to bring into next week. Peyton Pritchard talked about the, what he thought were the three keys to adjust uh, going into next week in the post-game press conference that you can check out over at the Reading Royals YouTube 
that is, he's after Kirk McDonald. So if you watch coaches, then Pritchard comes in, and then that's when he talks about that. I think it was the second or third question. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to the Reading Royals. Falling to the Trois-Rivières Lions, every great team hits a bump in the road. This team is a Kelly Cup contender, in my opinion. And you're going to have to hit your bumps and bruises. That's what builds the great character to be a champion. And they're going to come back out next week, I firmly believe, and have very good games next weekend. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep us growing to 200 by the end of February. Stay safe out there and enjoy your day.